All right, everyone. So today I'm gonna try and make Cooly Cooly. It's the national dish of Benin. And I, I skipped this one a while ago, right? Obviously I've been going alphabetical order here. We're in the Fs. Why am I circling back to B? I skipped it because a lot of videos I watched of people making it, for one, it either took a long time, a lot of time, a lot of work. I didn't feel like doing it at the time. And two, people fail. Like a lot. A lot of people fail at this. So what you need to do is take peanuts, grind them up into peanut butter, which uh, Smucker's Organic is just straight up peanuts ground up into peanut butter. So you can use something like this, right? And you're going to take this and add a little bit of water into it, mix it up to try and get all the peanut oil extracted. You're basically trying to make peanut oilless peanut butter, which got me thinking the other day when I saw my roommate using this, PB Fit, which is peanut powder. It's just ground up peanuts, a little bit of palm oil, coconut palm sugar. So it's slightly sweetened, but mostly just peanuts. And the dish itself is supposed to be slightly sweetened with sugar and some ginger. Now you then fry in peanut oil, the oil that comes out of it. I believe the main point of this dish is that it's like a byproduct, right? Of creating peanut oil for frying things. You get this leftover peanut paste. What do you do with it? You can fry it up in that same oil that you just got. And then boom, you've got a little snack. Why be wasteful? So my thought process is what if I just add a very small amount of water into this to give it texture? Because normally you add water into the dried up paste as well to try and get the right texture. So what if we just skip the hard step, mix this with a little bit of water, add some ginger, maybe a little bit more sugar, and then fry it. That's what I'm gonna do. So this is far from a traditional coolie coolie. Also, if you're here for recipe purposes, you're not gonna get one, really, since I'm eyeballing everything. And honestly, every video that you find of this, everything's completely eyeballed, right? Cause it's just take peanut, make it into paste. It's, it's take peanuts, grind them up into paste, and then season to taste once you're done with it. So it's really one of those things where there's just no recipes at all. But I'm gonna start with like this much PB Fit. And a little bit of water, just start mixing it up. Now the ratio to get peanut butter is almost one to one, a little bit less water to peanut powder. So I imagine this is gonna be like a, I don't know, like a five to one. I'll leave 100% of the footage in. And I'll just keep it fast forwarded for when I'm mixing. Okay, we're starting to get chunks here. I imagine if I take it too far, I can just add more powder in, and that should fix the problem. See, that looks right, right there, this middle clump. This middle clump is actually the maybe slightly too dry texture of what we're looking for. So I don't wanna add too much more water in because I don't wanna overhydrate. Maybe just that much more. We're looking for a dough-like texture here. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the ginger and a bit of sugar. That might've been too much. That might've been a mistake. And just another sprinkle of water. I probably should've added the sugar and ginger before I started the process here. But, Cause then it would've, just, it would've mixed better if I started it before the process. But that, that looks right. If anything, this might be a little bit too wet. I don't know, maybe too wet. Hmm. Tastes delicious. I think we're gonna try it out. Let's go ahead and get some oil heating up. Probably should've started that when I started the process because it would be hot by now. But while we wait, I guess the, uh, I've seen it in ball form, in log form, and in patty form. I think I'm gonna go with patty. What's interesting seasoning wise is I saw this with like ginger powder, chili peppers. You can make them salty, you can make them sweet. Really depends on the vibe that you're going for. There wasn't like a set, this is how you do it situation. It was more so, what kind of seasoning do you want? Go ahead and put that in. Made one without adding anything else to it. We can just try a straight one. That'll also let me know if this is the texture that we want or not. We're just looking at how oil swirls via the different temperatures. I really just want to get my face very close to it so I can, so I can really see it, you know? Oil's at about 325. I'm gonna try dropping in the first one here. Wow, that thing's bubbling. I also have no idea how long to fry these for. You fry them until they're crisp. If you can't tell, I'm not very prepped for this episode. It's, it's more so me just kind of experimenting. Kind of like the burger episode, which I don't know if this is coming out before or after that. I haven't really decided. I guess I should probably let it go until it stops bubbling so much because the bubble is the water leaving the oil, right? Oh, look, it's floating up. Oh my God, does it float up when it's done? Oh, how convenient is that? Mm, it might be done, it might not. I'm gonna put the next one in while that one sits for a minute. You know, I'm gonna put the next two in. I'm getting bold. 
Two might have been a mistake. They're hitting up against each other. That might make them fall apart. It feels solid. It feels good. While those fry up, I guess I'll just make some more. Oh, there's like vocal cues to these things being done because they stop bubbling as much. You can literally hear them being complete. Probably should have like flowered my hands or something. Oh, here they come. Look at that. That one's almost done already. I'm gonna let it go just a little bit of extra time because it feels like it is still bubbling. And that one feels like it could be a little underdone. So I'll make this one a little bit overdone. Maybe like that much. What's my oil temperature at? Okay, that's a little high. We're at like 400. Oh, like 380. This guy's almost done. He's coming up to the surface. Finish these two while I wait on that one. Yeah, my real problem is, is that this is sticking to my hand while I try and form it. I got peanut butter on my hands. Okay, so this one didn't really float up and got a little bit too brown. Some might call too brown burnt. That might be the word that they use. Not me. Okay, these are my like weird looking ones. I don't know, man, they feel pretty good. Get this loose peanut butter off my hands. These ones I'm gonna salt as they come out because you know how cookies are better when they're salted? They got a little bit of salt on the top. I'm figuring these might be the same. Now you just got your hands really wet. Dry them off before you start messing with the oil again. I think these are almost done already. They're floating up. By the way, uh, thanks Aunt Jackie, Uncle Dave for the uh, spider here. Bam, it's out, salt it. This one just popped up to the surface, pulling it on out, letting it drip off. It won't come out of the spider. There we go. Salting it. And the last two. Oh, I still, I'm just so scared around oil. I burn myself so often. See, this one feels like it's not done. This one feels fine, fine, good. This one's kind of hard. This guy feels like he might be a little raw in the middle. I mean, nothing's raw about this, but they really like sticking together. Put that one there, a little salt. This one's a little bit thicker, so it's probably taking a little longer, but nope, there, it's floating up. They basically stop bubbling when they're done too. Like this burnt one stopped bubbling completely. This one ain't going on my plate. We're leaving that one out of this. See, this bad boy's starting to come up to the surface, but isn't quite up yet. I might have made it too thick. All right, I'm gonna plate these up. I'll see you in a sec. All right, people, we're back. If you're wondering what the lamp is about, shout out my buddy Saul. He told me good photos all about the lighting. So I just, I just held a light bulb directly above it and the photos look good. So let's, uh, let's give these a shot here. On the inside, they do look a little chewy. Hmm. I mean, for the most part, it just tastes like peanut butter with a bit of crunch. I'm not mad at that. I wanna try the one that I burnt, see what's going on in there. No. It's about the same. What about this extra thin one that I salted fresh out of the fryer? It's all about the same. I'm gonna call this a success. Ginger really doesn't come through. I'd say put more ginger in it than what I just did. Go a bit more heavy handing with the seasoning, but it just tastes like peanut butter. And uh, what's wrong with peanut butter, you know? I like them. I'm sure me and the roommate will smash these tonight. Hopefully I didn't offend anybody too much here by trying this. It's more so just an experiment to make things easier. Obviously you can still make them traditionally, but this seemed to have resulted in the same exact thing. So I'm not mad about it. Or maybe it isn't the same. I guess I've never had the original. Maybe I'll have to hunt that down and compare. There are a few African restaurants near me so hopefully one of them sell it but anyways drop a like if you have a better way of doing this comment it down below because i would love to hear it and i'll see you guys next time